Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons & Dragons with my friends. We explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Sarsen Zero, and today I'm joined by Longfish, Fear No Equal, Azure Wolf, and Blind Oracle. Together, we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons & Dragons. This is the fourth encounter, clearing out a diabolical cult, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, abilities, spells, items in hand. Wizard. I have 109 out of 109. I have my Wand of the War Mage plus one, along with my Wand of Magic Pistols. Two slots remaining on the first three second, two third, two fourth, two fifth, one sixth. I am at 113 out of 126 hit points. I am holding the Staff of the Python and Shield plus one. I have four level one, one level two, three level three, and three level four spell slots remaining, and both charges of my channel divinity. 150 of 159 hit points, Action Surge and Indomitable both available, and a Great Axe plus 2 in hand. 127 of 134 hit points, holding a plus 1 short. Sneak dice all day. Sneak dice all day, baby. How excited are you for your level 20 once per short rest ability so you'll be able to say it for exactly one dungeon? Dead, dead, uh, head shake. Monsters, abilities, items, and numbers. So this encounter has a Horned Devil. Horned Devil is a relatively powerful devil among the ones that you're going to be fighting here today. They've got diabolical resistances, so they resist cold, unsilvered and non-magical weapons. They're immune to fire, immune to poison, immune to the poison condition. Passive perception is 13, so well below a rogue's ability to care. They have magic resistance, as all devils do. They have multi-attack, where they can attack twice with their fork. And they have a tail attack. The tail attack, in addition to some damage, if you are not an undead or construct, you have to make a DC 17 constitution save or lose 3d6 hit points at the start of every turn due to an infernal wound. If I hit you again, the amount that you lose increases by 3d6. You can take an action to staunch the wound with a successful DC 12 medicine check or some sort of magical healing. They also have the ability to hurl flame like the barbed devils did and they can substitute any of their melee attacks for ranged attacks if they so choose. The horned devil is accompanied by a succubus that has been taking part in the rituals here. I'm going to use them properly this time, seven levels later, so let's take a look. Succubi have resistance to cold, fire, lightning, poison, and non-magical weapon attacks. Passive perception 15, 60 foot fly speed, they can claw, they can draining kiss if you're charmed, and then importantly, they can charm you with a DC 15 wisdom save, and then you become magically charmed for a day. The charmed target obeys the fiend's verbal or telepathic commands. They have telepathy for 60 feet. If the target suffers any harm or receives a suicidal command, it can repeat the saving throw, ending this effect on a success. If you succeed on any of the saves against it, you are immune to the effect for 24 hours. The Horned Devil has fly, or I didn't miss that part. You are correct. The Horned Devil has a fly speed of 60. Terrain and effects. So a couple of pieces of difficult terrain. If you stumble across them, they will slow you down. The piles of bodies are difficult terrain. Just announce that and leave that as it is. And then there's a bunch of pieces of walls and impassable terrain. Any questions about the terrain? Are we in an interior space? Yes. How high is the ceiling? 15 feet up. Cool. So he can't fly away from us. Let's go ahead and talk about tactics. What do you guys think for tactics in this fight? I think it would behoove us to clear the succubus first if we can. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, focus her down. Cleric, you might be on call for that medicine check. Magical healing works. So healing word will do it. The other thing is we have advantage on wisdom saves. Yep. So yeah, we may be tougher for her to uh, seduce than would otherwise be expected. I'm just concerned about that tail attack. If that hits us a couple of times, that's going to be a real problem. But yeah, I think if we can take down that succubus fast, then we should. The haste you fighter, just have you go your nova around. This is another two-person fight. Do we have a disable that would work on one or the other? Banishment. Yeah, I was going to say banishment or polymorph. Think I can get thrice lucky? <laughs> Probably not. That magic resistance is the kicker here. Yeah. I've gotten lucky twice. I don't know if I can pull it off for three. <laughs> I mean, it's worth a shot. I, I agree. I've got the slot. So, I mean. Hold monster? I don't think anybody here has hold monster. Mm, okay. All right. Let's go ahead and roll initiative then. Anybody have higher than a 20? I got a 20 on the fiends. Who's got between a 20 and a 15? 19 minus 1 on the clerk. 19 on the fighter. Who's got between a 15 and a 10? Okay. 
Who's got between a 10 and a 5? 9, 8. All right, the fiends are going to go first. I think we want to do the succubus first. Succubus is going to fly out to there, and she's going to attempt to charm the cleric. Give me a DC 15 wisdom save. With advantage, 28. Okay, now that'll pass, I suppose. I'll let it go by this time. And then she's got 60 feet of movement, so she's going to fly back in here. You are immune to that effect for the next 24 hours. After that is the horned devil. The horned devil is going to probably go after you as well, so drop in right there. Fork you once with the staff, or at least attempt to 16 to hit. That will miss. Second attack, nat 20. That will hit. Take 13 points of piercing damage. Concentrating on anything? Nope. And the tail attack. Tail attacks at 27. <laughs> that will hit. Take 10 points of piercing damage. Give me a DC 17 constitution save. 24. 24. So you do not get the infernal wound. He's got 60 feet of movement, so he's going to fly back. After that, we're going to go to Cleric. Put me four squares to the west of the Corn Devil, and I will cast Sacred Flame on the Succubus. Deck 17. Well, she rolled a 17. Yeah, it doesn't have a negative, so she passes. All right, that's it for my turn. After the cleric, we're going to go to the fear. I will dash to the succubus. Put me on the far side of her, please. And that'll be it for me. After that, we're going to go to the Asia Wolf. Let's move north. Don't think I'm going to get race lucky, so let's aim for the lady with... Third level magic missile. Looking at a three. Three plus one is four. Four plus five is nine. Nine times five is 45 points of damage to her. Three back, or are you good there? Yeah, let's move three back. After that is a blind oracle. So we're going to move on the diagonal to the cleric, and then we're going to hide from the succubus behind the cleric and then shoot the succubus. Does a 25 hit? Yep. Respectable. For 30 points of damage? 30 points of damage lethal. My attempt to cover and cower did not work. Can I pop back behind the column? After that, we're going to go to the top of the order, which is the Horned Devil. Horned Devil screeches something at you, infuriated that you have banished its concubine, and it's going to attack you. We're going to focus on the same target. 29 to hit you, Cleric. That will hit. Oh, that was good. Take 21 points of piercing from the fork. Hey, I have 69 health. 27 to hit you. That will hit. 19 points of damage from the fork. Tail attack is a 12, which will miss. And after that, we're going to fly there, not provoking an attack of opportunity because we're going to skate along the edge here. After that, we're going to go to the turn of the longfish. Put me south of the devil, and I will hit him with a eh, sacred flame. Dex 17. He fails with a 15. For a measly 7 damage. That's it for me. After the long fish, we go to the fear. I will move into the center of the room, and I'm going to swap over to my pike and prepare to attack him if he comes within reach of me. Sounds good. After the fear is the age wolf. Okay. Let's haste the fighter with a scroll. And then jump back. Yep. Go Nova. After the age wolf, we have the blind oracle. Let's go ahead and move on behind the fighter. Hide behind the fighter. Fighter's vibrations are distracting, but even with the 23, you still make it. And then take the shot. Oh, so close. A 29 to hit? 29 hits. So close. For 36 points of damage. And we'll hang out there. After the blind oracle is the horn devil. Horn devil's going to attack the cleric. First attack is a 17. That will miss. Second attack is a 25. That will hit. Takes 16 points of piercing damage. And then the third attack with the tail is a 22. That will hit. Take 13 points of piercing damage. DC 17 constitution save. That will be a 16. 16 is a fail, so you're going to take 3d6 at the start of your turn. Now it's your turn, so go ahead and take... <laughs> Brutal. 11 points of... Uh, oh, you just lose 11 hit points. Are you still up? Still up. 10 out of 126. <laughs> now it's your full turn. What do you do? Channel divinity. Heal up a whole bunch of hit points. So you're going to take the entire 60. 53. All right, that's an action. What else you got? I will stay there. After the longfish, we go to the beer. Close in. Put me right center. And we are going to use our action surge and just wail on him. Attack number one with the pike. So that's a 24 to hit. 24 hits. For 16 damage. Attack number two. 28 to hit. 28 hits. For 16 damage. 21 to hit. Yep. For 15 damage. 20 to hit for 16 damage. Attack number five. 19 to hit. Yep. For 11 damage. Attack six. 23 to hit. Yep. Nine damage. Attack number seven. This is the haste attack. 27 to hit for 9 damage. 
Okay, he's allowed to leave. He's allowed to leave now? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> what a waste of a turn. Asia Wolf. Yeah, let's fire a magic missile at this guy. Another third. I am looking at four. You're looking at four. Four plus one is five. Five plus five is ten. Ten times five is fifty. Fifty is lethal. Bye-bye. That's that encounter. So, this is the fourth encounter, so it's a short rest. Report hit points remaining. 63 out of 126. 150 of 159. 109. 127 of 134. Any pre-rest actions? Chuck both of my healing potions. First one is eight. Second one is also eight. Anyone else want to take pre-rest actions? Pearl of power to get my third level slot. Sounds good. Hit dice. Spending one hit die to gain five hit points. Two hit dice for nine hit points. I'm spending five hit dice for 38 hit points. In my rest, I'm doing the ritual cast of the Fine Familiar and the Arcane Recovery. What are you bringing back for Arcane Recovery? Fourth level slot and two first level slots. Handing two potions over to the Cleric. Longfish, you drinking them? I'll drink one of them for now. Healing for another eight. I am now at 125 out of 126. Yeah, I figured you'd have the other one to spare if you need it. I will also hand the Cleric two healing potions. The adventurers have discovered the grisly fate of some of the townsfolk who have gone missing in the area and discovered the intentions of the devil worshippers here. Four encounters down, two more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarsen Zero, and I will see you next time.